Well, it's a balmy 23 degrees over here in Pigeon Cove. It's low tide, but the good news is there's no wind. So it's really, really nice. It's a nice bright sky. Some beautiful clouds over here. But today, you know, the thing I'm gonna talk about is, first of all, my XH1, which, which I just got back from Fuji Professional Services, uh, real quick turnaround. It took them a week to get it back in my hands again. The audio input, uh, audio input on it was shot, so I had to have that replaced. But the, the turnaround was great. Now, uh, I'm gonna be testing and doing some, um, some video with it. So the B-roll you see uh, will be shot with this camera. Today, what I'm gonna be working with is the Fujifilm M-mount adapter on this camera. Uh, before I used it on the X-T30 and uh, it, you know, it's, it's a nice light setup, but I really like it on this camera here. And I'm gonna be using my, my lights, uh, what is it? It's a 21 millimeter Super Elmar. It's a great lens, it's a beautiful lens. It's one of the sharpest 21 millimeter lenses that Leica makes. And on this camera, I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. In 35 millimeter terms, it's gonna be a, um, I think it's gonna be the 21, it's about 30.5 or something like that. So it's gonna be a little bit different, you know, in between a, a 28 and a 35, somewhere in that range. I may also pull out my 28, which makes it, I think the 28 makes it like a 35-ish, somewhere in that range, or 38. Um, and I might pull out some other lenses too, 50, 14, and we'll see how it goes. Now this uh, M-on adapter made by Fuji is a lot more expensive. It's about $200, somewhere in that range. And you can find way, way cheaper alternatives to this particular uh, unit here. But this unit here has a button on it, which is, if you can see, I don't know if you can see it right there. It, there's a button on it that um, makes it so that you can put in adjustments for each particular lens that you use. And that's, that's an electronic um, attachment, which makes it way different from all the other ones. Now the other ones, you can get down to like, $40 or whatever it is, really, really um, not very well made. I have a really, really nice NovaFlex adapter for my little Sony that I have. It's a beautiful adapter and they make also make that for Fuji. It's about the same price though and it's not connected to the camera like this particular one is. So let's go out and take some shots around here. This is in Pigeon Cove, there's a lot of great things and the, the shadows right now are absolutely beautiful. So. Um, and you know, there's a lot of boats up here being worked on, like this one here, getting ready for the season. So, off we go. I really like the stern of this boat. This is kind of neat. Got the spirit over here. I'm gonna make a shot of that too. It's got a dinghy that's leaning up against it. This is kind of cool. Boy, you know, the shutter on this X-H1 is so silent. Oh, I love the shutter on this camera. It's beautiful. You never know, maybe a vertical will work at this. I just got this truck over here, which I can't get rid of, fortunately. We got a great fish shack over here. Boy, this is awesome. It's got a, a, a really, really interesting uh, lobster made out of lobster trap material. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna work on that one. This is really neat. Boy, a lot of fun. Look at this. Looks like Bob Morris built this. Yeah. Really interesting. Well, I switched over to the Leica Tele Elmar 
2.8. It's a 90 millimeter lens, and which makes it a 135 on this. It's kind of cool, and there's some really interesting shots around of lobster boats. Uh, lobster boats are fun to shoot pictures of because they got a nice, interesting shape to them. Okay, so we got the 28L Merit on here, which is like a 38 or 40 or something like that. Got some really cool detail shots over here we're gonna try. Um, this is a lot of fun with this setup, I have to tell you that. You know, the focus peaking works really, really well. So, got some shots over here, lots of traps. So this brings up the question of the week, which one do you like better, the color or the black and white version? Always a lot of traps here. It's like the boneyard of lobster traps. But there's some cool images here, especially with this 28 L Merit here. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a huge, right over here, where is it? Right over here, there's a huge chain. It leads right out like that. I got a nice low shot of this. It's kind of cool, I gotta tell you. Boy, that's a really interesting shot. I think I'm gonna like that one. But you know, uh, there's a good chance, there's a good chance that I don't have enough depth of field. So I'm gonna shoot another one. I shot at F8. I'm gonna shoot another one at F11 and see if I can get more depth of field out of it. Cause it's kind of, it's a really great shot. And you know, with the X-H1, you can shoot vertically with this uh, tilting screen. It's really nice. So far, I'm really liking this setup with the and mount adapter on my X-H1. It's really kind of neat. Um, well, thanks for joining me over here at Pigeon Cove in Rockport. I had a great time shooting with the X-H1 and the M mount adapter for it. So I was able to use some Leica lenses that I have. This Fujifilm M adapter is really, really solidly built. It's electronically uh, paired in with the camera, so that's also pretty awesome. And I had a great time. I, I always do have a great time putting my Leica lenses on these cameras. It's a lot of fun. So if you get a chance, please go to kpnphototours.com and look up my workshops and tours I've got going on this year. Got a great one up in June at Sugar Hill, New Hampshire. It's called the Lupine and Waterfall Workshop. It's, it's, a, it's a great workshop and it's a great place to stay, the inn at Sunset Hill. And the next one down the line is also in June and that is our workshop touring the coast of Maine or touring lighthouses in the coast of Maine. It's with Bill Fortney, a Fuji X photographer. And believe me, you don't need to be a Fuji person to enjoy a great time with Bill Fortney and I. We're going to be touring eight or nine lighthouses up on the coast of Maine. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I got to tell you that the biggest problem here is, is that we're running out of time. You got to sign up by April, uh, the middle of April about there, because that's my cutoff for both of these for the hotel rooms that we have booked out for both of these stays. So I know you'll enjoy it, but... That's it for this week, and we had a great time with this setup right here. And I didn't get a chance to do any really slow shutter speeds with the Ibis in this camera and my Leica lens of it, but I'm telling you, I bet I'm down a quarter of a second without any problem at all. By the way, if you get a chance, please give me a like and a comment. That would really help this channel out a lot because what, what YouTube looks for is, is they look for um, engagement. So engagement with my audience so if you get a chance give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff and that's it for this week and we'll catch you next time